different types of business transaction models. In next course, discuss what is e-commerce. E-commerce, it is commonly known as the electronic marketing. It consists of buying and selling goods and services over an electronic system such as the internet. E-commerce is the purchasing and selling and exchanging of goods and services over computer network or internet through which transaction or terms of sale are performed electronically. It is a methodology of modern business which addresses the need of business organization, vendors and customers to reduce the cost and improve the quality of goods and services while increasing the speed of delivery. So these are the advantages of e-commerce businesses. Faster buying selling procedure as well as easy to find products. E-commerce increases the reach of advertising of products and services of business. It uh, uh, services of business. It helps in better marketing management of products and services. No risk to customers. There is no theoretical geographical limitations. No operational cost and better quality of services. No need of physical company setups. Easy to start and manage a business. Customers can easily select products from different providers without moving around physically. 24 into 7 service availability. E-commerce automates the business of enterprises and the way they provide services to their customers. It is available anytime, anywhere. Non-cash payment. E-commerce enables the use of credit cards and cards, cut cards, joint fund transfer to bank websites and other modes of electronic payment. E-commerce business models can be generally categorized into the following category. Business to business, business to consumer, consumer to consumer, consumer to business. But in some cases, it can be further divided into three more divisions. Business to government, government to business, and government to citizen. Good evening everyone. It's Shome Shokar. And I will be explaining from this slide and it's about the business to business model. So what is business to business model? It is the business to business model basically prefers for a website where the seller and the seller that means the business organization and the some other intermediates like wholesaler they actually connect through that website and that type of model is known as business to business model. In this type of websites, what happens that the business organization or who creates the thing or creates the products or services actually connects to one website or shows, advertise their products to their website and the wholesaler who wants to buy them can buy the things or services from that website and that's what the, the business to business model is and here the customer that is end to end customer, end, end user we can tell uh, does not involve the end user actually connects to the wholesaler but he or she cannot connect to the business organization using these websites so in this there is a business to business model there is an intermediate line between the customer and the business organization and that intermediate line is basically the wholesaler moving on to the next slide please so uh, we will be discussing about the key technologies that should be remembered while creating any websites for business to business model. So first that is the EDI that means electronic data interchange. It is the exchange of the business documents or structured business documents and machine processable in the machine processable format. That means the who is creating the services or who is creating the product the business organization takes the uh, takes up the records and uh, through a several formats they just keep the records and that's what the ed uh, electronic data means and but it should be interchanged so a technology should be there for that format to be maintained and that's what about the edi and thereafter three types of connections should be there one is internet that allows the connection between all different intranets as, al as well as the extranets whereas internet intranet is basically a communication or we can tell about a connection between the organization only and that's about the intranet whereas the extranet extranet is a special opening to our internet that allows the connection or communication for different wholesalers we can tell 
to the business organization but it is restricted that means the uh, extranet is very restricted intranet and there after to back back in information integration that means the database system that we should every uh, website should have and in this case uh, it is also a mandatory part so there are different architectural models for this three different architectural models that is supplier oriented marketplace there after buyer oriented and intermediate oriented so supplier supplier means the business organization who is actually producing the goods or services and enabling them or showing showcase them to different uh, wholesalers and here what happens the in this kind of uh, architectural model supplier oriented architectural model the website the e-commerce website that we are creating is basically focused on the supplier end that means supplier can showcase their products not that the buyer can actually um, do anything buyer can only uh, buy the things but the main purpose of this is showcasing the supplier products actually nothing else whereas in that uh, contrast the buyer oriented marketplace here what happens the buyer has a much more right or much more freedom to take the goods and here the buyer has a the buyer has a bidding that means we can uh, think after bidding side the buyer actually showcases that i want to buy something and all the interested sellers who want who are interested in that um, thing in that bid can, will apply their uh, market rates and that what happens in the buyer oriented model and thereafter an intermediate oriented marketplace is also there here what happens the business buyers and sellers can transact with each other here the both ends are given equal freedom so both that supplier oriented as well as buyer oriented both will be connected to be at for intermediate oriented marketplace that means it is having the advantage of both side uh, or the both of the architectural models that are stated above moving on to the next slide please uh it is another type of model the first one was business to business and it's a business to co consumer in the business to business we have talked about that customer is not involved that means one business organization is selling directly products to a intermediate one like wholesaler and that wholesaler is again selling those goods to a uh, customer but here what happens the wholesaler is totally uh, removed from here and that what happens in business to consumer here the business organization directly contacts with the consumer and he or uh, the consumer can buy his or her goods without extra rates or without the intermediate moving on to the next slide so these are the different things that should be kept in mind for creating a bus uh, business to consumer model website that the key roles that should be maintained are that the customer has the determines the requirement that means customer have the given rights to choose the products from whereas he or she can search is different items given on to the whole lot of sellers actually in the marketplace in the e-commerce there are whole lot of sellers so in that case he or she the consumer has a lot of varieties to choose from and thereafter the there are four things that should be kept in mind that is Uh, the website should be able with a place placing order system that means we can place order and it should process the thing there up there after a billing system should be there a um, payment gateway should be there and there after the thing when anyone has when any customer has provided his or her requirement and bought some items the seller from which he or she is buying that seller seller should be informed that means through a notification or email he or she should be involved so that uh, so that he uh, the seller can give the products or can uh, resupply the products actually and thereafter there is a term of this intermediation that means the intermediate that means the wholesaler they are removed from in this business to consumer model and that's all about here moving on to the next slide Okay. Thank you, Shomesh. Nicely explained by Shomesh. The business to business and the business to consumer. Next comes the third one, 
the means the consumer to consumer or c to c business model this is a business model where uh, where one customer is connecting with the another the kind of uh, this kind of connection is basically done through a connect uh, uh, through a connecting website am i audible sir yes yes you are audible okay sir okay sir okay so in this case uh, like as you can see on the diagram a customer one is selling selling something it can be a property can be a car or a basic pen or anything to our website and the uh, other uh, and on the other side customer 2 is buying the product so basically website is a medium and the customer is communicating uh, is communicating with the other so this is the customer to customer business model so moving on to the next one means the fourth one the consumer to business so this kind of model is basically established between Uh, consumer with a business organization. This can be easily described by an example. Assume our customer needs a basic loan for some reason. He or she reach up to a website where he or she can choose a business organize a business organization based on their loan interest or time period or basically based on their need. So this type uh, so this kind of connection is called C to B. Or consumer to business model. Moving on to the next one, means business to governing body or government, B to G. Or governing body, uh, uh, business organization to governing body is a little upgraded version of B to G, means business to business organization type of little more upgraded version. So where website is used by the govern uh, by the government to trade and exchange information with various kinds of organization. This is clearly seen on the right side diagram. As you can see on the right side, that business organization to our website is uh, connecting with the governing body. Now come to the sixth one, means government to business. Means B to B type of connection is used by the governing body, and this website provides various kinds of support, uh, tenders, application submission. this kind of functionality as you can see on the diagram the governing body is giving the opportunity to the business organization to communicate with the governing body this uh, come to the last one is the seventh one to government to citizen this g to c is also here is also the govern uh, the governing body is uh, is dealing uh, dealing uh, is doing the job but the this kind of uh, but this approach is directly this time the approach is directly with the customer this kind of website reduces the average time for fulfilling citizen uh, citizen request like various uh, registration or other services for various governing services as you can see on the diagram let's move on to the uh, kind of business model is basically divided in three parts advantages of organization various kind of organization get various kinds of benefits using this uh, this business models like they can uh, communicate with the governing body they can directly uh, communicate with various other business uh, business organization or they can directly uh, uh, do their business with the customers So this can be a very beautiful uh, example of their uh, the advantage for this organization, and this also can be a uh, advantage for customers. So uh, customer can uh, directly uh, communicate uh, using this model. They can directly communicate with uh, the other customer, like they uh, using uh, they uh, like um, like they are buying something through a we website, or they can. communicate with organization they uh, in some cases they also can uh, communicate directly with the governing body so this is a advantage and uh, and while the organization and the customer they are uh, they are the most two important parts of the society though uh, so the where the governing body is communicating with the customer and the organization so is the society is also getting the advantage Okay, so these are the three advantages, and for disadvantage, disadvantage can be technical or non-technical. There can various various technical issues while uh, dealing with this uh, uh, dealing with uh, 
uh, system so those are the technical issues and there can be a non uh, non technical issues in my um, like uh, when you are dealing with people there can be a problem when you are dealing with uh, such uh, huge organizations or it can be a small organization that is just building but it can be a uh, when you are dealing with governing body there can be a various kind of disadvantage those uh, those are go into the non technical kind of issues this is our presentation sir thank you for being with us thank you very good presentation